Hello and welcome back to another DIY video. Today we're going to be working on this 2010 Cadillac SRX. We're going to be changing out the amplifier on this vehicle right here. What I'm experiencing is when you hit the turning signals, you're not getting that audible uh, clicking noise like tick, 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 tick. and of course uh, any of the audio inside the car, you don't hear, you don't really hear anything either. So just an example, you should hear a clicking noise right now. You hear nothing. My radio. You hear no volume either. So that is, I predict, the amplifier. But before we get started, make sure you give me that thumbs up to help the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel right here in the bottom right hand corner and we'll get started um, here in just a moment. So as far as what kind of tools you'll need for this DIY, I don't know just yet, but I do know that this is gonna be the OEM part number from GM, right there. And again, this is the amplifier and it looks like it's an OEM Bose amplifier. I got mine off of Amazon for about $135. Let's get started. A lot of this is going to be trial and error because I've never done it on this car yet, but you want to pop up your driver's side door right here. The amplifier should be right down here. So I'm just going to move my seat back just a little bit. Alright, so I've got my seat moved back. My goal is to remove as little as possible. There should be some tabs along this top side. Well, these tabs right here actually aren't clips, but they just kind of clip in there like that. It just kind of wedges in there. The clips are actually on the bottom. Not sure if you can see it. You should be able to. There's the amplifier. Let's see, where is it? I think that's a 10 mil. One moment. So this is kind of the setup I have right here. I just put a big little light post right here, more uh, more visibility, and you'll see those three nuts right there in the bottom. 10 millimeters. Take this one off. That one off right here down here. There's one more back here, right there. I'm not going to take them all the way out just yet. I'm just going to loosen them. I'm actually going to disconnect the harness right here first. So it's one, two, and three. Let me try to zoom in. Looks like a standard harness, so push and pull, I assume. I hope. <laughs> Let's see. All right, so I'm gonna stop recording, but just uh, push and pull these out. All right, so here's the first one. Do the same thing for these three in the bottom. Alright, so the hardest one so far for me is going to be this very bottom one. What I do is just took a really, really long screwdriver. I press that little tab in where I'm pointing to and then put the screwdriver, flat, flat blade screwdriver under it just to kind of wedge it between it softly until it unseats and then you can pull it off with your hand. So now take off those uh, three 10 millimeter bolts. Just careful not to drop it. It'll be pretty hard to get it if you drop it. Right, so that. Remember, I already cracked these loose. So you gotta do this kind of by feel. Go slow so you don't drop it because it might be hard to get or to fish out. Last one is down there on this little harness. 
right there. I'm gonna back that out though. I'm gonna stop filming that part because I need both hands. All right, so I got the amplifier out. That part is easy. I did exactly what I told everyone to be careful doing, which is I dropped the last nut. It is right there in the frame. So I'm gonna go ahead and go get a magnet. Hopefully that can fish that out with no issues. All right, so I was able to fish that out, thank goodness, with the magnet. Let's go take my old one right here and go compare it with my new one. Yeah, well, it all looks the same. Ports all look the same. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a plug and play. I'm gonna go ahead and put this and just put it back in the way you took it out. Okay. Oh, that was my light. wiggle that in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the top nut on first just so it can hold it in place. I'm going to go ahead and put in the remaining ones. Okay, just to give you an update, you see where my socket head is for that um, very bottom one? Right there. If you go in from the bottom, you'll have a lot more room like this. So that you don't have to struggle so much like I did here in the beginning. Let me just make sure those harnesses are tight and then we'll turn them back on and see if that fixes the issue. All right, so I got everything buttoned up, cleaned up, got it reinstalled. Let's give it a shot. I fully predict that it should be just fine. All right, let's wait for it. We're expecting audio. There it is. Woo, let's hear this. There we go. Perfect. All right. So that went ahead and fixed the job. Again, 2010 Cadillac SRX. If you like this type of video make, or content, make sure you give me a thumbs up to help with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel in the bottom right hand corner. This job right here should cost about $750 from your local dealer. So you can save some money if you attack it yourself. Complete time takes me about 30, 39 minutes ish or so. But uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.